In this tutorial, we will draw this part here. So this is somewhat similar to a piston head and can be modeled using a single sketch profile and the revolve feature. So let's start a 2D sketch. We'll start that on the XY plane. We'll start at the origin, drawing a vertical line, which will be the radius of the inner arc there, just 13 millimeters. Then come across for our taper. Then we'll dimension between the endpoint and the origin, the width of the part, which is 50 millimeters. And then again, we'll dimension from the origin to the endpoint of that line, uh, its radius, which is 19 millimeters. Back to the line tool. The endpoint of this line will go vertical here. That's 80 millimeters. And then we need to put in our two grooves. So here we'll come across 8 mil. We'll drop down by 6. Then the width of our groove is 12 mil. Come back to the top 6 mil. The distance between the two is 50 minus 24 minus 16. That's 10. It will come down with the 6 mil. The width of our second groove, 12 mil. Back to the top will be 6 mil. And finally, we can finish off the profiles there with the 8 mil dimension. We'll put in the vertical line here. And I'll just put in a vertical constraint on these two lines here, which are not fully defined. And now they are fully defined to a dimension between the endpoint of this line and the origin. That will be the radius there, which is 79 millimeters. Back to the line tool. Come across horizontal. We don't know the length of this, but we'll put in the lines like so. Then we can use the dimension between this flat and this one here as 20 millimeters. Then we just need to put in another taper here, which will be parallel. So we'll select the parallel constraint with this line here. So we'll select both of those lines. They are now parallel. And we'll also put in the vertical constraint between the origin and the endpoint of this line here, like so. Then we just need to dimension the radius of this arc here, which is 33 millimeters. Then we can use the line tool to finish off our sketch profile. Finally, we'll put in another line starting at the origin, going horizontal. Put that as a construction line. Then we'll go to 3D model and we'll revolve this profile about our axis of revolution here. So let's select revolve. Inventor has correctly selected this profile here. We'll then select the axis, so this construction line. Then we can see uh, the preview of the part is correct. Just need to change the angle here to 270 degrees and we'll flip the direction like so. We'll click OK. And there we have the completed part. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I'll reply as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.